Hi, my beautiful Taurus. Welcome back to Queen Cup Tarot. I'm just shuffling up right now. I'm getting ready to do your February 2019 readings. For those that are new, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe. For those that are returning, thank you. Um, your support of this channel has been everything. And, um, you know, a lot of you guys are light workers, amazing, fantastic people. And I see that and I thank you. I feel privileged that you do engage with this channel. Um, and that actually does lead me to um, uh, something I do want to make, I guess, a little announcement. So I've had a lot of people request personal readings and I've ignored you guys. <laughs> I'm going to explain why. Um, first off, um, I used to do personal readings. I started this channel in June. Used to do personal readings and um, pretty much got overwhelmed with too many requests because I was offering them for free and did maybe about 50 of them for free and just said, fuck it. Like, it's too much. And I didn't offer them again on YouTube. Just kept it in my own social circle, friends, family, whatever. Um, talk to a lot of tarot readers, spiritualists that are in the business and make money off of this. And they really spoke to me about how they morally balance what they do, um, with, with, you know, the transactional side of it, bringing spirituality to such a transactional side. Cause me, I have many means of making money and never had any intentions of making money with this channel. This was like a spiritual passion project. It still is for me. So, um, I've decided after a lot of thought that I am going to offer personal readings and I am going to charge for them. Um, but I am going to do something cool because I do want to still have access to people that can't afford readings or else it completely defeats the purpose of this whole channel. Um, I'm going to, for every five readings that I do and charge for, I'm going to offer a personal reading for free. Um, so when you're engaging, um, in the comments on the monthlies, um, hashtag need a reading if you need a reading and um, I will pick randomly from one of these people um, uh, and, and offer you a personal reading uh, up to an hour um, a live personal reading up to an hour um, so yeah I thought that was a cool balance still be able to you know offer something um, you know my time to the community uh, free of charge, but also, you know, be paid for my time and also, you know, find a way to manage it because offering it for free is not, I had 400 requests in a month and I didn't even have 400 subscribers. So do the math. Like I, I, I wouldn't be able to, so that I'm going to try this out. It's going to be a trial. So, um, if you want a personal reading, email me at queen cup tarot, uh, at gmail.com. All the details are in the description. Um, so reach out to me. If not, um, that's fine. I'm still going to do your monthly readings and I am also going to do the lives as well. Um, I just really want to get all 12 videos out before I start doing the lives because it just makes more sense to me. I feel more comfortable doing it that way. Um, so yes, let's get into it. Holy Spirit, thank you for connecting me with these beautiful people today, right now, more particularly my Tauruses. Um, let's provide them the messages, uh, for their greatest good, um, for the month of February, pretty much from now going into March, um, anything surrounding their personal development, their ascension, um, relationships, trials, tribulations, career, um, let's give them some, um, support at this time. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for your divine love and guidance unconditional love and guidance. We are nothing without you. All right, Taurus. I feel good about this. All right. Your overall energy. And don't be alarmed, okay? <laughs> it's the five of wands. It's tests. Um, this five of wands can also be looked at as conflict, um, with people. So yes, you could be experiencing conflict with people, but more so this is more spiritual, um, internal. So some of you might be being tested. Um, some of you might be, um, mm, there's so many ways that you could be tested spiritually and emotionally, especially if you're going through an ascension process. Um, so I'm just going to go right into your lay. I want it to make it clear with these tests, 
the it, 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 you have your first card is the sun, the angel of happiness. All these tests are surrounding your happiness. Just know that. Wow. Taurus, it's looking good. Mm. Hmm. Sorry, guys. Okay. So, and why I just wrote that down is because it has to be something surrounded by the title because a very strong message came through and it's quite beautiful. Um, your vision for a better tomorrow is manifesting. And I do see it surrounding partnership. For those of my Tauruses that are single, I commend you for shining um, while still having such pain and darkness inside of you because I really think the outside perspective for a lot of people is that you're happy, you're doing well, um, you know, and that you have good fortune coming to you. And I believe that's correct. I do believe you have good fortune, but I think that for you, it's more of an outside perspective. I think you're still balancing a lot of heartbreak, you know, some pain um, and, and some burdens that you're carrying, um, baggage you're carrying inside, and you're trying to balance them out behind the scenes. And and it's because you know what you want. You know, there there is either a partnership that you are in separation from that you know is divinely guided and brings you happiness and you're separate because you need to do your own balancing and healing and or that person as well. Um, but ultimately, you know that the actions you're taking, the vision you have for your future is correct. And you know that you're taking the steps. A lot of you have a vision for the future that is going to manifest sooner than you think. Now, this, this message is for those that have envisioned it already, because if you haven't, then I don't know if it's going to just bombard you. Because this does seem like a message for somebody with the sun, uh, the vi um, seven of pentacles, vision, and then the wheel of fortune, the angel of destiny. This is, this is a manifestation of a vision that Taurus has had. And this vision was birthed out of a place of honesty, purity, love, and happiness. Even, and, and what's funny is it was birthed, all of that, What fertilized that was pain and burdens and you know it and you've been balancing yourself out because of the visions you've had. Some of my Tauruses um, have changed dramatically for the simple fact they've seen a brighter tomorrow in their minds. They have gotten the epiphany, the download from their, their primes, their God, their creators that there is a brighter tomorrow for them. And that is so beautiful to me, you know, because that faith is a lot more difficult, especially if you come from, you know, a hard come up, which is what I see with the, the three of swords and the ten of pentacles is, and the five of wands being tests, you know, and the nine of swords being stressed here. That's trying to balance that and fight that and knowing there is a better tomorrow and knowing that you're aligning yourself with it because you have the tools and the ability to. And it's like, now that you've seen that, you're not going back. Now that you've had the vision, you're not going back. You know how you need to proceed now. You know what it is that you want. And that's really strong and beautiful energy, guys. It really, really, really is. All right. Oh my gosh, guys, did I not show you the cards? No, I didn't. Did I? Shit. I don't remember. Well, I just showed you now. <laughs> Such a stoner. 
I've done quite a few videos at this point, but, and they're all bleeding together, or not bleeding together, but, you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, with the sun, the seven of pentacles, the wheel of fortune, three of swords, temperance, ten of wands, ten of cups, nine of swords, two of cups. Guys, you, um, the balancing that you're doing, okay, it's, it's almost like a fucking calling for, for my single Tauruses, you are, um, you're, you're bringing in a partnership. You're, you're going to be, and what's so cool, because a lot of the time it's like you need to acquire a certain level. It's almost like you'll never have enough healing to get it. It's like the work you're doing. And if you're not, you need to be the work that you're doing with this temperance here, this balancing. So this temperance is looking at the burdens and she has the heartbreak behind her and she's moving away from the heartbreak, attacking the burdens. It's like moving past that, that, that it's like you're, 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 you're going to be stressed. Sorry. You're, you're, this partnership is going to come so quickly, so, so, so quickly. Um, for some of you, this relationship whether February or March is going to come in very, very fast. And I don't know if it's a pre-existing relationship that becomes super prominent. If it's already a relationship that you're in, like if you're in a relationship, then you might have been doing a lot of personal thinking work, maybe dealing with family issues, like really preoccupied within yourself. Your relationship becomes front page <coughs> at the end of the month. And I see some worry surrounding that. Um, you know, or not worry more like stress, but if you are single, then, um, you know, it's almost like you come to this realization of what family looks like for you. And then you become stressed because you, you're like, I don't have any of that. Like you're like the 10 of cups. I mean, I've done everything. Like I, I've gone through the heartbreak, the betrayal, you know, the confusion, I've slept around, I've had my whole phase, I've walked away from that, I've walked away from the bat, like, what now? You're almost a bit tormented by your better visions of a tomorrow, especially if they haven't come in yet. If you're in that in-between stage of knowing what is to come, and you've had that vision, like, once you get the vision, there's this really long, there's this lag, because what you fail to realize is the vision had to take place in order for this wheel to be initiated. Like it takes time for it to actually move. But what you don't realize is you had to make the vision to even get it started. So it needs to take time. And while you're waiting for that, you, it's like you have the vision and now you start balancing yourself, not realizing that the wheel of fortune is turning. And then I think you start feeling emotional fulfillment because there's some kind of ending, like you drop a burden of some kind. And I really just think it's like burdens of maybe like how you were looking at yourself and your life. Maybe you were just taking on too much responsibility because you were masking your own pain and, and sorrow. And it was, yeah, you were being helpful, but really and truly you were just numb. Um, and you're becoming alive again, all these, these, you know, um, rods, it's like fire energy. It's like, you're becoming alive again. You're balancing yourself. You're being the alchemist. You're balancing, you're balancing your pain and sorrow with your light and love. And you're realizing who you really are. And in that realization, in that balancing right above the temperance card is the seven of pentacles. That's that vision, that vision for the future, that vision for the future. And then what's funny is it's like the future comes in. So that's why I say for my singles, it's like you're, and it's funny, it comes in and you're worried about it. Like you're worried about just it not coming in. I think it's funny. It's like you, you're, you're worried about it not coming in. Um, not that, and I, I say that lightly because I don't want you guys to sit there and start worrying and be like, well, it's only going to come in if I'm worrying. If, it, if that's, if this is either going to resonate for you or not. 
And if you don't understand how to use tarot and the energies, then you might be not far, far enough in your ascension process to be watching tarot. You might need to be watching other videos on YouTube surrounding energies, synchronicities, um, your own psychic abilities. Because the only reason why readings resonate to you is because it's tapping into knowledge that's already inside of you. You are your own psychic. Please, Taurus, don't forget that. Okay? Spirit, can we get clarification on this sun and the seven of pentacles and this wheel of fortune? Thank you, Spirit, for this beautiful reading for my Taurus for February 2019. It looks like great things, guys. It looks like great things. You know, even though it's funny, you're so focused on balancing and healing, which requires you to look at the burdens and the darkness and, you know, the heartache and the past trauma that you don't even realize all that you're initiating with this shit. Every time this, every time she dumps that water from one cup to another, she's creating balance. He or she is creating balance. That's the alchemist. And I see that happening and boom, it's like there's so much energy around you that you're unaware of. Like there's, it's a lot. It's like a lot. You were very focused on an area, maybe a little bit too focused, not that it's not creating balance, it's just like tunnel vision, but I don't even think it'll matter because it's like, yeah, let's just get start off with this clarification on the sun, the seven of pentacles and the wheel of fortune. two of swords so to me what this two of swords is is like you're coming out of the indecisiveness about what it is that you want i think this newness about your future and this hope it's new i think i think a lot of you were questioning whether or not that new beginning a brighter future a brighter tomorrow was even possible it might have been years in the making for you to even see the sun and believe when tarot readers tell you what the sun is, believe that that's even possible for you. And I think where you're coming out of that indecision is a lot of you are realizing, no, 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 I am worth good fortune. I have good fortune that is written and destined for me. That's why you got to take your head out of there. Wr written and um, for me and destined for me. And that it's just a matter of me balancing myself so that I'm best prepared to receive it, handle it, and really be able to enjoy it when it does come. Um, cause it's funny. It's, it's going to come when you're stressed. Um, spirit, can I get, um, clarification on this 10 of wands, this burden that this, uh, that a lot of my Tauruses represented in this Taurus card are looking at. So some of you might be burdened by a person, a failed opportunity. Um, you know, something that you invested in that didn't work out that you feel, you know, disappointed about. Maybe you were expecting something for somebody, somebody to show up and show up for you and you didn't and you're burdened with that. You're resentful that they didn't and you're carrying that burden around and you need to let it go. You are heartbroken by their decision to not show up for you and it hurt you and you need to let go of that. Okay. Um, you know, some of you might be burdened by social pressures. Yes, this is the card of celebration. So some of you might be, you know, releasing some of these burdens by going out and having a good time. But really, I see social pressure because there's two people here that are dressed similarly. Look at their hair. Look at their clothes. And then the girl whose back's towards us, she's more simple. She's more simple. She's wearing shoes because she's been walking around. She's not in some pretty garden. She can't work, walk barefoot like these bitches. And then her hair is in this ponytail. Because she doesn't have these maids doing her hair and putting fresh roses and flowers in it and shit. And they're celebrating with her and it would seem like it's fair, but it just isn't. There's a sense of being, mo not mocked, but like, I don't know, social pressure. Social pressure. And some of you are burdened with that. And when you release that burden of those social pressures that only exist in your brain, trust and believe that, that is not a reality everybody lives with because I don't live under no social pressure other than what I need to to maintain. Um, 
you know, it's going to bring you the emotional fulfillment that you want. And the only thing you're going to be stressed about is a partner who's going to be cool with that and is going to be in line with that. Now, I see that, again, you know, this Two of Cups, I believe a lot of you are, you know, with the temperance, you're inside, you're healing, you're looking within. You've realized what the future, the potential, you're like, okay, like these good things could happen. I should look like this. I should be healthy. I should do these changes. I should make these moves, start saving money, all these things. And while you do that, you don't even realize that this, there's a new beginning. There is a partnership that is going to pull you out of this mode because I think you're, you're stressed you're looking inside, but you come out because somebody helps relieve that for you. I believe that somebody helps relieve that for you. And I think that that person, the person that you depended on that hurt you, that didn't show up for you, it was a test. They were never capable for you. Like they were never capable to be there for you and your expectations for them to be there for you were, were selfish because if you really looked at them for who they are and not who you needed them to be, you would see they were never really capable. So we've got the five of wands again. This is that in that conflict. To me, it's internal. You know, you had this internal conflict. Codependency, no codependency. And then I think you got a vision that of yourself being more independent, more stable, more capable, not just in your own, but of attracting something, something you deserve. Needing to attract something you deserve. Spirit, can I get clarification on this Ten of Cups, please? We have two tens here. There's a completion. Yeah, a lot of you are feeling tired with about all the work, the inner work that you've done. You're feeling emotionally drained. I do see that some of you are feeling and that might be where the worry is is you're just like you're over you're over that I think you're over the unknown like I said a lot of you don't see uh, like for my singles a lot of you don't see this a lot of you don't haven't gotten out of this yet like there's a sense of it hasn't happened yet and you approaching it happening are feeling very <laughs> yeah <laughs> and it's because he's looking at those fools like fuck this is what I just came from let me take my stick and go about my business <laughs> okay and th there's certain things that are just unknown to you right now and you guys we all got to find a way to be cool with that. But there's something you're not looking at. And I think what this means, I think what you're avoiding is, is all the work you did. The patience that's required. Acknowledge where you're at, which are these, if it's having to acknowledge that there's this need to release burdens, do that. If it's this need to acknowledge that you have evolved, do that. If it's the need to acknowledge that you are in a relationship that is not giving you the happiness you want, it's time to not ignore that because it looks like the universe is trying its hardest to give you a partnership. Because even this Knight of Wands, who knows if you this is your fated and destined partner, but it is a partnership that is going to take you out of your recluse mode it's going to it's not in reverse like this person who didn't show up show out and offer what they said they were going to offer to you it's not in reverse it's upright it's in form it's offering what it said whether it's there to stay or not it's pure in intention and it causes you to come out of of your little um um healing session that you've been in for quite some time so that's cool, you know, and it could happen by the full moon. 
um, the 19th of February, possibly. Wow. Okay. So what I do get is with this partnership, you're really going to be questioning exactly that. Like, is this person somebody who's able to build a foundation with one of those sticks? Like, is that stick that that knight is holding one of these four sticks? Because I believe if with the three of wands was here, that's what you're looking for. And I think you're juggling whether or not this person fits the new bill you created. Remember, you've got this new vision of family, love, light, one that you might have never been exposed to, but are now getting to see within your own spiritual downloads, which looks like this. Okay. And that's 1111. If you're getting synchronicities of 1111, that means you're on the spiritual path. You're envisioning that correctly, which means then it will come. Um, and then you're juggling in your mind whether or not you believe this person is a fit to that. And you're trying to figure that out. And I think we can leave the story there. I don't want to go into March because I believe you leave February wondering if this passionate new beginning um, that possibly comes in. Now, I don't know if it's new. I just know it's passionate. Um, I don't have any aces here. Um, this, But I have this knight here and this two. So this could just be somebody coming in with a passionate offer to you. And you're wondering and juggling the idea of whether or not they fit this new bill. Whether this is a new person or not, you have a new bill. You have a new idea, a new sense of what happiness looks like for you. You know it is divinely guided because you were given the vision. And if this doesn't, f and you're trying to figure out that this, if this, this person fits in line with this vision, that's how you leave the month. You leave the month trying to figure out if you can actually build this with them. So there is a chance that you know this person. That's why you're already thinking about this with them, right? Because if it's new, it might just be so passionate. Um, you know, two mature adults having a really passionate beginning and they're talking about this already. You know, they're talking about this already and you are being forced to have to do an inventory check and sum this person up and say, are you, do you fit the vision? For some of you, there's somebody new coming into your life that's going to change that vision for you quite positively or to help you solidify the new vision that you've been trying to create for yourself and then spirit any final messages for the two of cups here that new beginning you've got the sun again and the eight of rods these are the downloads surrounding that vision of happiness now, when I pulled them, though, when it, the way it came up, it would have been reversed to me, upright to you. So, in a way, it could be looked at either way, is what I'm getting, is this could just be acknowledging the downloads that you receive, these visions of a better tomorrow for yourself. They were divinely guided, good for you. You know, just now maintain the faith. And stick to the vision and make sure that anything that comes in, you are checking, reference checking to the vision. Some of you still need to create that. Some of you, this vision's been trying to come in and you're not letting it. Why? Because you're still consumed in heartache. You have to find a way to purge this and balance yourself. Guys, it doesn't always have to be like, go speak to somebody. Um, when you work out, you, you release serotonin and endorphins in your brain that really help you receive these downloads as well. Um, you know, eating certain foods will nourish parts of your brain that help you download this information better. Do what you need to do to balance yourself. This could be as simple as communicating your feelings. You need to balance yourself on an emotional level you've held too much in you know, or vice versa, you need to shut the fuck up and keep your feelings to yourself. Like it could be, you know, just a need to balance, right? So it's how you look at it. Do you have the vision or not? Are you receiving the downloads of what your brighter tomorrow looks like or not? 
And then when you receive the downloads, do you believe it? Do you love yourself enough to believe you trust that? And I believe you do because the only way the two of cups comes is if the one of cups is there. And that's your love, your self-love, which is what she, which which is what she's fucking with here. Her self-love. She's 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 the alchemist. She's act she's she's mixing that shit up to prepare it so that it is is in perfect balance for offering. Right? Okay, guys, let's um, pull. I'm going to pull from a few. Let's do the Romance Oracle deck first. Thank you, Spirit, for this beautiful reading. For my gorgeous Tauruses. Um, can we get clarification from the Romance Angel deck, please, with regards to February going until March? Anything we need to know regarding romance and relationships and self-love and all that. Wow. We had this fly out too. Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy. The way it flew out, this is indicative. Remember I told you that this Two of Cups is going to come out of nowhere? For some of you, it is. And that's just by the simple way that it flew out. And you're going to be flirty and this person is going to be like, like, you see how you're, the, the woman is sitting there just chilling and this person's like slid in, like slid in, slid in the DMs, <laughs> you know, it might come really out of nowhere, but you need to extend your lighthearted energy to others. I know you're looking inward and you're facing some deep, deep shit heartbreak, burdens, all of that, but it doesn't change the fact that now that you know what you know about your bright and beautiful future, let that light resonate through you, but also through to other people. Extend your lighthearted energy to others, and you'll be shocked at what it brings to you. Good stuff. What it brings to you. What it brings to you. You'll be shocked at what it brings to you when you extend your lighthearted energy. You'll be shocked. What it's going to bring to you come spring. And that's only, this message is only if you are taking this energy at this time. Okay. Let's go from the wisdom of hidden realms. I just looked and saw two, three, two, 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 two. Nice. Nice. Okay. Spirit, clarification on this spread for my beautiful Tauruses going in to February, all the way into beginning of March, leading into March. Optimism and aggression. Wow. I feel like this energy, I mean, it very well could be you. Some of you could be dealing with um, a Sagittarius. I'm getting strong fire energy here. Um, but regardless, um, I believe that this person is going to be um, aggressively pursuing you because of how optimistic they are about your partnership. This true love that you are manifesting in is going to be... Um, is going to be really aggressive um, and excited and optimistic about being with you. And and I think that's, that's hot, you know? This energy to me is really hot. Um, and I also see this here on the other side. Fruit uh, fruition, abundance, reaping what you sow. So there is a sense of this partnership that is coming in or this elevation in a partnership that is transcending is something that your work brought to fruition, fruition of your vision. This is fruition of your vision. Why? Because your vision fell in line with your true destiny. Okay, guys, that is absolutely Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm going to give you guys the whole experience. We're using what? This is the fourth deck. 
Spirit, you're on a roll with my Taurus is, you know. Your visions, you, you, you keep the positive thinking going. It's so important to remain positive because if you are having visions of brighter tomorrows like that, <clears throat> then some of my Tauruses are really getting hit with dark night of the soul like that. Like you'll not even dark night of the soul, but you will have negative energies attacking you, trying to keep you down because they see you going up, 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 Trans they see you transforming. You see you transforming, okay? But thank you, Z Zed Kiel, for supporting me to transform from my past challenges, okay? Absolutely gorgeous. Wow, change and transition. Thank you, Azriel, for leading me safely through this change. He's hot. <laughs> He's super hot. You know, so a lot of transformation and change happening, right? Um, and I believe it all stems from your vision of a brighter tomorrow. Um, I believe this reading is for a lot of my Tauruses who have gone through a hard time. And even though they've been through darkness, they still saw the light. Trust me, you'll be rewarded for that. You will absolutely be rewarded for your dedication and your love to your creator and to God. So maintain this vision. And the vision of what now? Of that. All right, my beautiful Tauruses, that is your reading for February 2019. Please like, share, subscribe. If you want a personal reading, please email me at queencuptarot at gmail.com. And um, please continue to let your inner angels live. And I will see you guys soon. Bye for now.